take two. I uh, filmed it in portrait instead of landscape last time, so I'll try again. Um, yeah, 3000 series. This is a 3075. And I just wanted to have a little quick chat about the um, hydraulic linkage control. Um, ELC, electronic linkage control, is what it's highlighted up in the uh, actual Massey manuals. And that's that control unit there. Uh, these 3000 series Masseys were very innovative for their time. They were well ahead of everybody else. Um, modern tractors now use an almost identical system to this. Um, this came out in the 1980s, so 40 years later, they haven't found an improved system to this. Um, first things first, these need, I believe, 12 and a half volts to work. So you have to have the engine running, make sure the rev counter is working and you have output from the alternator to make sure that it's over 12 and a half volts. You've got this control panel and you've got some extra buttons here. You've got manual up and down. Um, should be going down, up, down, yeah, and up. So you've got manual up and down. Those buttons are also on the rear fenders. Um, I vaulted this tractor so it's got them on both sides. A standard, they only come on the one side, but I vaulted it to have it too. Um, so you've got this is a late, this is 1994 version. The 1980s version was a Mark One, and this is a Mark II. Um, the button, the up and down, is on the left on the 94 onwards, and it's on the right on the pre-94 models. Um, so you've got up and down. Yeah, um, you've got a, when you you your you've got this button, which isn't on the earlier ones, which is on this. This is a rapid drop button. Um, if I go to down and I set this up, if you look, watch, I've got two little lights to go up and down. If I press the button, it drops, yeah? And it will drop rapidly, while I'm holding the button, it will go to the minimum. And then it's going to go back up to where I've set this lever. So you've got up and down, you've got a rapid drop button, you've got maximum height control. Um, if you've got an implement that uh, might hit the cab when it's lifted too high you can set the height to how high you lift it to or if you've got a PTO operated implement and if you lift it too high the P it'll damage a PTO shaft you can set your maximum height so that when you go up it only goes to where you set it on the height you've got a speed of response um, I think in my opinion this is more to do with when you're plowing and it's draft control response but it alters how fast it, it alters from up and down to keep at the constant height that you've set on your on your control. Um, you've got a speed of drop, but the speed of drop, when you turn it all the way to the bottom, to the far end, it actually locks it and switches it off. But so if I go down, see nothing nothing happens on the controls and nothing's happening out there. If I turn that down to a relatively slow speed, it's dropping and the link arm's going down. Yeah, if I go up, if I go down and I turn it right to maximum, it drops a lot slower and I slow it right down. It's almost not moving. If I go down, to yeah, fast. slowly increase the drop rate and you'll see it slowly goes faster so that's those buttons across the top then you've got this large knob when it's in the down position this controls the height that the, that the minimum is set to um, you could even have it almost at full height and it will lift the link arms to full height but it's on the down setting and it's this knob that's now setting the height. So if I turn it down, it's, it's so usually 
um, if you're grading some soil you can set the height that you're grading at if you're um, plowing you can set the plow to go in a certain depth on this knob that you've set it to plow to that depth um, so at that button that button that button so if I so if I set it at say that depth for plowing when you come to the end of the field you've lifted your plow you've gone back you've dropped it back in yeah you have this button then to, you can do a rapid drop and it keep dropping it deeper than what you set which is sometimes handy to get the plow to sink in the ground deep quickly when you're starting your plowing of course as soon as you let go of the button it goes back to what you've set this one to when that's on minimum um, this is a picture of a fertilizer spreader and a picture of a plow in my opinion uh, when you're using fer spreading fertilizer you'd be on position control and when you're on plowing you're on draft control um, Massey were the ones who invented this draft control system I think back in the days of an early Massey 35 I'm not sure I think I don't think the Grey Fergies had draft control but the 35 certainly did um, it was a very innovative system in its time that altered the lifting force on the link arms relative to how hard you were pulling so if it if the lifting for if the pulling force got harder it lifted the link arms a little bit which gave the wheels grip and found a softer bit and easier pulling so when you're plowing by using draft control whilst you're plowing you can get the maximum out of grip of your tractor because it will try to set it to the depth that you've asked for but it will lift the link arms up and down whilst you're plowing relative to the strain that's on the link arms so the harder it pulls the more strain they're under the more it will try and lift the link arms and then once the pulling force gets less it will lower them back to where you've set it to and this constant fiddling and adjusting with the link arms whilst you're going yeah really transfers the weight onto the tractor to get the maximum possible grip for the best plowing plowing ability um, apart from soil engaging equipment plows and subsoilers i'm not sure where you would really use draft control um, you can vary the extent of the draft control right through to no draft control at all on position control um, they use little sensors on the link arms to do it um, nowadays years ago when it was first invented you had a very fancy top link that had um, controls built into the top link mounting and it sensed the work the draft on movement within that top link compared to a spring that was pushing the other way